The drivers of timber trucks in Sweden have a complex job. On every journey, they must consider cost and time, safety, the work environment, regulations, and they often drive under conditions of mental stress and in variable climate. Mikael Skugland is one of these drivers. He owns the Skugabu Aukeri Haulage Company and has five timber trucks and 10 employees. Mikael and his colleagues drive mainly for Stura Enso, with journeys totaling 900,000 kilometers a year on roads ranging from fine asphalt to others that are little more than tracks. Payments between hauliers and forestry companies are traditionally based on the distance driven, so correct choice of route is important. Most journeys are in familiar home areas, but drivers are sometimes uncertain about the best route, particularly when driving somewhere new. Drivers must decide which road is best with the fewest curves and hills, which is fastest, which road involves the least stress, and which road minimizes fuel consumption. With so many choices, it's easy to make the wrong decision. Choosing the wrong road means the distance driven is incorrect, which is negative for both buyer and seller. At Stura Enso, Jan Gustafsson has been one of the driving forces behind a system to improve distance measurement. Our joint lift for the forest sector in Sweden is that every transport is paid out from the actual distance. And of course, for the parties involved, it's a lot of money in this. And it's very important that each distance are calculated, generated in an accurate and objective way. This was why the forestry sector, together with Skugforsk and SDC, started the Calibrated Root Finder project. The research group at Skugforsk quickly started to focus on developing software to optimize the routes from forest to industry. We have often quite long distances from the forest to the industry. At the same time, the Swedish road network is extensive, which means that there are many possible options. Take a look here, for example. In this example, we have a landing here and the reception point over here. The black one and the blue one represent the shortest route and the quickest route. The green one is the route chosen by Calibrated Road Finder, although it is longer than the other two alternatives. The red routes over here represent some of the many alternatives that the driver has between forest and industry. So why is the green route best according to Calibrated Route Finder? Some of the answers are that even if it is longer, it doesn't consume more fuel because of less hilliness and fewer stops. The route is also better because it doesn't pass outside schools and sensitive areas. To calculate all this and to find the best route, Calibrated Route Finder is based on large quantities of data obtained from many different sources that take into account what both drivers and companies consider important and both the data and the system are continually being updated. Skugabu Akari has been using the system for a couple of years. Mikael says that the risk of making the wrong choice of route is radically minimized when calibrated route finder is used. It means fewer mistakes, fewer detours, and improves the efficiency of transport. So the system has really made a big difference for him as a haulier. Sveesku is one of Sweden's largest forestry companies and quickly realized that the system also has environmental advantages. At Sveaskog, we have used calibrated road finder since 2011. We transport 9 million cubic meters annually, which is 12% of all forest transportation in Sweden. Today, reduction of greenhouse emissions is critical for us as a responsible company. With Calibrated Root Finder, we can apply best practice in the sector to further reduce these emissions. The Skugforsk researchers are constantly developing and improving the system. Today, Calibrated Root Finder is used by a majority of the forest companies in Sweden. In the near future, Skugforsk and SDC wants to further refine the system by introducing, for example, the effect of stopping and starting in intersections.